the naming ceremony. And Ruby came up with the name. Marcus. All day I've been trying to make my grand feel better. You all think that I'm that far gone that I can't fight my own battles. You're just back from court, though. The sentencing went quicker than I thought. I failed as a mother. Again. There's bad news, boss. The MOT's expired. I need the whole fleet MOT today. Dad, you got a minute? Here's a second, Jesse. It's important. Oh, so is eight cabs off the road. If you need some help with the big words, just let me know. <laughs> Those good grades have gone to your head. Your loss. Take a look if you want. Still can't believe you're selling the candle room. Oh, Amber's right. The position we're in, we have to sell something. Well, what about the flood damage? It's all fixed. Meet my lawyer in a couple of hours. Rings will find a buyer in no time. And how do you feel about that? <sighs> it's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a while. Still. Bet you've got some wild stories from that place. <laughs> None that I'll be telling you. Spoil sport. There it is. End of an era. Hopefully. The candle rooms, it's been, it's been a useful place for a lot of people. People like Tyler Folks. He's one of them. But as soon as the word gets out that we're selling up, they might try and persuade us otherwise. Persuade you how? If it comes to that, I'll deal with it. But chances are it'll be fine. I'll drink to that. Coffee, obviously, <laughs> from the oyster. Do you want one? Ah, uh, why not? Oh, heard you go downstairs, so I made you some breakfast. Thanks, Ma. You had a bad night? We Marcus woke me up, that's all. <laughs> I thought with his new name change, you'd maybe get a new routine, but no such lucky. You know, usually with my pills, means I doze right through it. But as soon as I opened my eyes this morning, I felt brand new. That's great, man. So I was thinking I could do a shift for you the day, give you a wee rest. Oh, I can't ask you to do that. You didn't. Oh, it's been ages since I worked the bar. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, the thing is, I've... I've already asked Ash to help me out in the bar today. Ash? Aye, he's been making a real effort with Ruby lately. I thought it'd be good for them to spend some time together. You know, I think maybe I want you to spend some time with... Well, it was only the other week you were saying that working at the surgery was too much for you. Aye, well, that's different. Maybe, but then you had that wobble as well. It... Well, that's all it was. Temporary. Still, there's no sense in rushing things. If you still want to help out tomorrow, then fine. Just relax until then, please. Dylan, can you phone me when you get this? Please, it's important. I offered you a coffee this morning and you said no. I needed some privacy. Ah, oh, well. All you had to do was ask. <laughs> Why, who were you phoning? Dylan, if you must know. Everything all right? The prison got back to me. Cameron still doesn't want me to visit. No, oh, I'm surprised you'd want to go. Well, I'm not sure want is the correct word, but I'm still his mum. And you think he's been in touch with Dylan? I tried Lou as well. Thought maybe she could pull some strings or get me in there anyway. No luck? No answer. None of my kids want anything to do with me. <laughs> Away you go. You and Lou are getting on better than ever. Well, that's what I thought, but she's ignoring me. You know Lou. She likes her time to herself, but she'll help you if she can. Look, if you're that worried about Cameron, why don't you pop round and see Lou right now? That way at least you'll know. Remember you need the licensing papers as well. I'm literally putting them in now, so calm down. Do you think we'll get the asking price? Oh, it's hard to say, we get nowhere near it. 
Hopefully this day she'll remember your keys. Or we could be pleasantly surprised. Come. Who's Karen? Hope that wasn't important. I need a favour. Okay. It's, uh, it's a little complicated. Well, let me just give me the gist then. My brain's still defrosting. Right, okay. Um, but can you get me into the prison? Like, break you in? Yeah, maybe you need a coffee, yeah? Strong one? Yeah, that's a great idea. Maybe this afternoon? Be back in ten minutes with a double espresso. This is nice. Since when were you so tasteful? How'd you even get in the building? Your neighbours obviously aren't as worried about security as you are. So have I come at a bad time? Oh, it depends why you're here. Well, I thought it was pretty obvious that I've come to see your daughter. Of course. Just thought you might have mentioned it before rocking up, that's all. When? During one of our biannual conversations. No, I can wait outside if you'd rather. Stay where you are. Jess will be back in a minute anyway. You're looking good. Am I? You know you are. You know, I'm not going to lie. I was half hoping that you'd let yourself go a bit. Sorry to disappoint you. Same old Alex. I'm not. The same, I mean. Good for you. So what happened to Dubai? Some things don't work out like you think they will. I've been back in Edinburgh a few weeks now. Jessica never said. No. So what has she said about me? Not much. I always figured you wanted it that way. You know, I was dead against her coming here. I'm glad you changed your mind. Well, what could I do? Chain her to the radiator until the course started. What course? The one she was due to start after visiting you. Humanitarian studies in Newcastle. First half heard of it. Really? Because for the past year, she's been telling me on the phone what a wonderful time she's having down there. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I had no idea. You know, you've either got a lot better at lying, or that's actually true. I can't believe Jessie would do this. <sighs> Jessie. I mean, I saw on social media she's going by that now. That's how you found out? Well, she blocked my number, so I was reduced to looking for her online. I mean, that's when I saw her and you Tagged in a bunch of photos by is it Rory Murdoch? It's my brother. It's a long story. I got you an extra shot, so you stay alert in your big meet. Mum? Answers, Jessica. Now. Right. Is this everything? Yeah, pretty much. Actually, there's one more case to come up from the cellar. Ah, uh, three guesses who's getting that. What? I can get it. Nah, you're fine. I wouldn't make you go down to the dark cellar on your own. I'm not scared of the dark. Okay. Gran, can you please tell him that I'm not afraid of the dark? She's not. See? All right. Well, all I know is, whenever you would come and visit, you wanted the light left on at bedtime, and I wasn't allowed to leave the room until you'd fallen asleep. Yeah, when I was a kid. What about last time you stayed? Well, that was different. How? You sent me to sleep telling me all those boring DJ stories. Ouch. Are you listening to this? I mean, I had no idea you were so defensive about it. It's just a little phobia. Nothing to be ashamed of. Luke, she says she's not. So that should be an end to it, OK? It's OK, Gran. Don't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't have brought her up if I thought she did. If you say so. There's not much to say, is there? I live with my dad now. And you've been lying to me the entire time. To both of us. Well, I never meant to, OK? No, it's not OK. And you can drop the attitude. I mean, why would you do this? Or do you not think I deserve an explanation? You do. You both do. It's just... I wasn't expecting to see you like this. Believe me, I wasn't expecting you like this either. Meaning? Well, I hardly recognise you. 
I mean, what have you done to your hair? What's that got to do with anything? Well, you tell me. I mean, I, are, are you trying to look like a boy? Is that it? I'm not trying to look like anything. I'm just trying to be myself. Jessie is non-binary. Well, since when? One thing at a time, eh? Well, where do we start? Because she's hardly told us anything so far. Well, maybe I'd be more forthcoming if you didn't speak about me like I'm a little kid. Oh, you want to be treated like a grown-up? Well, don't run away and hide from your mummy. All right, that's enough. Take them into the kitchen. I'll be through in a sec. You need to go for a walk and give us a minute. Oh, you're not serious. Bernadette. Bernadette! Susanna Rama. Here, have a swatch of this. Oh, no, thank you. Now, listen. It's the house where your man that does the films lives in, and he has a solid gold lavvy. Oh, how wonderful. But it's disgusting, that's what it is. There are people starving in the world. I quite agree. But Bernie, oh, the most wonderful thing has happened. Finally. You've had a winch. No, much bigger than that. Oh, something more than a winch. Oh, Susie, you dirty doggy. Do you think you could get your mind out of the gutter for just five seconds? Not willingly. We have had a donation to Molly's Corner. Well, I should hope so. It's part of the business model. A financial donation. A sizable financial donation. How sizable? Guess. Um, 400? No. 700? No. 1,000? No. 2,000? No. 2,500? Oh, come on, come on, tell me. 5,000 pounds. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I tried tidying up, but it seemed to make it worse. Yeah. Letting in some fresh air wouldn't hurt. How long have you been living like this for? Since Jack left. Turns out she was a tidy one. Oh. So, you need a favour? It's about Cameron. He doesn't want me going to see him. There's nothing I can do about that. Well, there's no strings you could pull. Well, even if I could pull strings. Prisoners have rights. If he doesn't want to visit, it's not happening. But surely if you... I can't help you. Not with this. Have I done something to upset you? No. Because I'm asking about my son and I'm getting the distinct impression you couldn't care less. How could you say that? Sorry. No idea Jack leaving had hit you this hard. That's got nothing to do with it. Do you say so? Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going for a run. Oh, don't be like that, Luke. You can let yourself out. Your mum has got a right to be here. And to be angry. What about you? I don't like being lied to. You'd have only made me tell her. Because you should have. You know, I have lost count of the amount of times you've lectured me on doing the right thing, being honest. A year, Jessie. You've humiliated the both of us every single day for a year. That's a bit traumatic. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. But you saw what Mum's like. She doesn't care about me. That's not true. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was so supportive and understanding just then. I'm lucky, really. Will you stop it? What? The sulky teenager act. Is this what you like at home? I thought this was my home. It is. You know that. Well, it won't be for much longer if we don't get our stories straight. No more stories. Your mum deserves the truth. Not about everything, though. <laughs> you really want to tell her I was kidnapped? I don't want any more lies. Great. Well, don't forget to mention that Uncle Rory got shot just outside or that Tyler pointed a gun at me, yeah? Give her the full picture. Which is to find out sometime. But now? Oh, with the mood she's in, there's no way she'd let me stay here. Fine. We hold off, but just for now. It still might not be enough, though. 
Or we should say I've got a job here, maybe working for you. No. And a boyfriend, she'd never get in the way of that. Jessie. I'm sure I could rope someone in to pretend for a day or so. Jessica, will you stop lying? If this is who you really are, then maybe you shouldn't stay here after all. Well? Huh? Look, could you get your nose out of whatever that is for five seconds? All right. All right, calm down. I was asking if you think that... I heard you. And yes, I think it's a good thing that Ash and Ruby spend time together. She hardly knows him. Is that no kind of the point, no? Well, we hardly know him. I know him a bit better than you, ma. You and him, that was a long time ago. People change. And no always for the better. Are you all right? Has something happened? No, but... You're getting yourself a wee bit worked up here. I'm not. It's just that I'm concerned, that's all. I mean, the life he leads. Nightclubs, parties, surrounded by young lassies all the time. He was always like that. So you're happy for Ruby to be around him? Well, she's a big girl and she knows how the world works. And better than most, I'd say. Doesn't he mean that we shouldn't look out for her? Look, I know you're worried. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't as well. But you are. Ash is hardly Mr Reliable. He could up and leave at any moment and Ruby would be heartbroken. But he's a dad and he's entitled to see her and as long as they're happy, then we need to leave them to it. Now, can you let me get on with this? There was no name on the banking reference. So they clearly don't want to be identified. <laughs> You don't think it could be Lenny, do you? <gasps> Using us for money laundering? Mm. Or something equally nefarious? Who cares? The important thing is how we spend the money. You are right. And I've actually been doing some shopping already. In my mind. Snap! We're brain twins. Well, not identical, certainly. Mm. Although, I do see what you're getting at. What's your big idea, then? Well, the money came to Molly's corner, so that's where we should spend it. Agreed. Charity begins at home. My thoughts exactly. So, I was thinking we could incorporate the cafe into the community hub. Why? Well, most of the licences we have are only provisional, whereas the hub has everything we need to make both places more integral to Shield Inch life. I see. Yeah, we'd need to get some portable equipment to run between the two. A couple of burmaries for chunky soups, more seating tables. Oh, and maybe a new sign. Hold your horses. There'll be nothing left. For what? The employees. But we are the employees. Us and Sonny. Sonny's only part-time. He doesn't count. And I'm not talking about taking all the money. I'm just saying... Take a chunk of it so we can get a wee trip away. I am not using a donation for a holiday. Fine. I'll take Nicole. Oh, I need a break, Susie. This money was for Molly's corner. Molly would never approve of that. I beg to differ. And... a minute. I... Yes. Yes. I can hear her. I, I think she's here. In the room with us. Oh, this is beneath you. She's talking to me. She's looking down and she's saying, yes. What is it, ma? Yes. Oh, she's saying, you deserve it, Bernie. Oh, do you think I'm going to swallow this? I've decided. My mummy, my money, it's what she wants. What are you doing? Well, you said Jack was a tidy one, so I'm filling in for her. Eve! Well, don't just stand there. Come on, muck in. I've been sloths me faster than you do. When have you seen a sloth on TV? That doesn't count. Can you stop, please? 
Look, I'm trying to apologize. You said you couldn't help. I should have just left it at that. Yeah, well, I should have let you down a bit more gently. Look, you got enough on your plate without me bringing more problems to your door. I'm sorry I can't help with Cameron. Don't be. My kid's not wanting to talk to me. It's hardly a police matter. Anyway, I'll get out you're here. Uh, I mean, if you're nearly done anyway, you might as well stay and finish off. I'll even help. That's very generous of you. If you're that worried, call her. I did. We have an understanding. Jessie always answers when I phone. Look, I know you're new to this parenting thing, Alex, but that's pretty extreme. What are you so concerned about? No, you're right. So, um, tell me about Dubai. <sighs> There's not much to tell. I'd like to hear it anyway. Well, the three of us were all set to fly out when Jessica decided to come here. I mean, not that I knew that then. This is you and your boyfriend? Victor. Is he still out there? As far as I know, I don't like looking back. I can understand that. Yeah, I'll bet you can. Look, I, um, I want you to know how sorry I am that I let you down. I wasn't there for you. Well, you didn't kick yourself out. Might as well have. You did the right thing. I wasn't good for either of you back then. No, you weren't. But you had your moments. Still do. <laughs> she might be back any minute. <clears throat> we need to be on the same page when she is. Agreed. And on that note, you should know that we don't say she anymore. It's they. And you're OK with all this? I mean, the non-binary thing? Does that mean you're not? Did I say that? I mean, I won't lie, it was a shock. So, how seriously should I be taking it? It's important to them. Them being Jessica? Jessie. You'll get used to it. <sighs> right, what's going on? What do you mean? Well, why do you look so worried? I mean, from what I've seen, Shieldinch isn't exactly the Badlands. You'd be surprised. I'm all ears. It's like you say, I'm new to this. I still want to have a, a look for them. Can you wait here? Why? In case Jessie comes home. I'm the one that pushed them to leave, that's all. I should be the one to get them back. You broke it, you'll fix it, eh? Maybe you have changed after all. I mean, can you believe the nerve of that woman? It's a disgrace. That's exactly what it is. Perfect. Trying to tell me how my own mother would spend that money. How would Susie know? Exactly. Molly loved it round here and placed great value in the community. Of course she did. Aye, but no £5,000 worth. <laughs> she had more important things to do in her life. Like you? Should have spent it on herself, which is all I'm saying we should do. We being... Nice try, but it's me and Susie who run Molly's Corner. Although, if she were to see sense about this whole thing, it might be a wee sweetener for the person who helped her get there. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a wee word with Susie then. You do that? <laughs> now, is there anything else you'd like? That's it. What's wrong? What's that? My mother's rosary. Why'd you keep it in there? I don't. Well, that's a bit spooky. We were just talking about her and then there's that. Aye. Maybe it's a sign. 
a wee scarlet, probably put it there. You're a natural. <laughs> Never been a stranger to a bar, that's for sure. And what else, I wonder? You've lost me. I've known a lot of men like you. Always smiling, laughing and joking. Not taking life too seriously. I never saw that as a bad thing. Oh, it can be. Because people let their guards down. They just let things go. And before you know it, you've done your damage and you've moved on. Are you accusing me of something? I saw you with Ruby. With your eyes on her. You better not be saying what I think you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm Ruby's dad! I don't care who you are. I am telling you, I am ready for you. And I will not let you take advantage of this family or of our wee girl. I see what this is. You want to beat yourself up for not protecting her from that Joe. Well, go right ahead. Because you should have way before you did what you did. But I'm not him. Oh, it's a nice story. But I don't believe a word of it. What about advice, Maggie? Whatever medication they've got you on, double it. Because you're not right up here. <laughs> Well, if you hear anything, you let me know, yeah? Great. Thanks. Who was that? I thought you were going to wait at the flat. Oh, sitting around doesn't really suit me. Well? Oh, it's one of Jessie's mates. I thought they might have shown up there, but... And there's been no sign of her being here? Even when we've had words, they always let me know where they are. They know how important it is. Give her a break. Her mum's just showed up and ruined her life. That's not what happened. It was sweet of you to take the blame, but... We both know she'd never have ran off if I wasn't here. I mean, we've never had the easiest relationship. I always thought she knew I was on her side. Jesse got caught in a lie, that's all. They'll get over it. If that's all it was, you wouldn't look so worried. Maybe it's time to start checking the streets. Calm down, will you? You didn't hear what she said to me. But you told me and I agree if that's what happened. It is word for word. OK, OK. Have you any idea what it's like to be accused of something like that? No, but I've stood trial for a murder I didn't do so close enough. It's sick what she said. Well, she was fine this morning. Are you sure you didn't say something that she could have misread or...? No. She was gunning for me right from the start. Well, where did this happen again? In the bar. Me and Ruby were just stalking up. Right. I'll talk to her. <laughs> you need to do more than that. Well, do I now? She threatened me, Caitlin. And what's to say she won't turn against Ruby next? Or you, eh? Oh, that won't happen. How can you guarantee that? You don't even know why she went for me. She'll have had her reasons. And what would those be? I I'm not saying she was right, Ash. You know what's not right? Me being accused of something that I've got absolutely no knowledge of. You lot, on the other hand... Out. I shouldn't have said that. Just get out. What happened to the meeting? Another time, okay? Have you seen Jesse? You're Karen. This is my sister Amber. Hiya. Hi. Are you sure you haven't seen her? Not today. What's going on? Just a domestic. But if you do see them, you let us know. Yeah. We're not exactly Jessica's favourite people at the moment. Have you tried the basketball court? <laughs> Seen a few kids around Jessie's age hang out there when they're supposed to be in school. Might be worth a look. Yeah, let us know if you see them first. Straight away. Hello? Is that 
you. Of course it's me. Oh. What? What is that? You. You need to give me a heart attack. What are you doing hiding down there for anyway? Just plugging in the old CD player. Why? Not to make make the days go a bit quicker. That's Sinatra. That's that's Maz music. I know. That's what gave me the idea. What do you mean? What's the weirdest thing? Mind when you phoned about the rosary? I heard a noise through in the bedroom, right? Opened the cupboard. Next thing, found a box of more CDs at phone hour. That is weird. Isn't it? It's almost like she knew we were talking about her. Right, I better be half. Name one of these went missing. If you keep leaving them lying out there for folk to half inch. But... Ah, so this is where all the cool kids still hang out. It's members only. Sorry. So charming. After the favour, I just did you as well. What favour? I sent your mum and dad off on a wild goose chase. It sounded like you needed to talk to someone that isn't them. Hmm. Oh, suit yourself. Don't. Look, they're really worried about you. I know parents can be a pain. Mine certainly had their moments when I was your age. No offence, but this is a little different. Oh, yeah. It does sound like the whiny version. And the clichéd one. You drunk all of that? I spilled some. I think I'm sitting in it. Oh. Oh, come on. If you're going to have a moan, you might as well do it on a dry seat. Oh, that's great. Right, let me know how it goes then. Okay, bye. <laughs> Caitlin catches you daydreaming like that, you'll be in big trouble. <laughs> Too late for that. Oh, yeah? We had words earlier, that's all. Can't be that bad if you're still here. Unless, are you getting revenge by doing such a terrible job? <laughs> You could always switch places if you like. Mm, thanks, but I take my days off very seriously. Yeah, worth a shot, right? <laughs> so what were you arguing about? Just family stuff. You know what the McLeans are like. Yeah, I do. And they've been through a lot recently. I know. I wasn't saying they haven't been. So the last thing they need is more stress coming their way. Maybe just take it easy on them, eh? Have you got something to tell me? Like what? What did you say to Ash? <sighs> oh, him. I, him. So? Don't worry. I've sorted it. Oh, ma. They're all the same. Men like him. You've got to stand up to them early and tell them that they're not going to get what they want and then they'll just scuttle away back under the rock. Ash hasn't done anything. And now he won't. You're not listening. He's Ruby's daddy. He isn't he after it. I know what I saw. I spoke to Ruby. Well, there you go then. She said you've been acting strange in the bar. I'm going to ask you this just the once, right? Are you back on the drink? Three identical Chinese menus. I've got a drawer full of those. Yeah, recycle it. Recycling. I can't believe the state I let this place get into. I mean, it was almost impressive. Especially since I've hardly even been here. Since Jack left, I, I spend most of my time at work. Come back with a takeaway, go to bed, back to work. You really notice somebody when they're gone, don't you? This was our place. Feels wrong without her. I oh, that'll get better. So they tell me anyway. But I'm always here to talk to you. If you need. I might take you up on that. Well, 
I've worked you hard enough for one day. Oh, that's fine, really. Not having the boys at home to pick up after. I was having withdrawal symptoms. I'd have thought living with my dad gave you practice enough. That man is another level. He keeps thinking I've hidden his pants. I, I just recycle that and chuck it in. Why do you have this? How are you feeling? Really drank anything, really. That's not what I meant. I'm not ready to see them. Look, Alex had a massive shock today. I'm sure he didn't mean to say what he said. It's not him I'm worried about. He thinks we can just tell Mum everything and it'll all be fine, but she's intense. Not exactly the forgive and forget type. Yeah. Used to think that about my dad. Well, Lenny's not so bad. Yeah, Grandpa Lenny's not so bad. Dad Lenny, whole other ball game. But he surprised me more than once. I wish he was here. All I'm trying to say is your mum might not react like you think. And if she does, she's taking me home with her. Not if you don't want to go. She has this way of making you feel bad for not doing what she wants. Like there's only one option available. So is that why you lied about coming here? <laughs> she wanted me to live in Dubai. <laughs> not exactly the most progressive place. Mum's not a bad person, but she has no time for things she doesn't understand. And I barely understood myself back then. There's no way I'd have been able to explain it to her. Well, things are different now. And maybe your dad's right. It's time to be honest with her. Maybe. Well, you better decide soon, because they're on their way. What? You can't go on like this forever. Text the Daleks while you're in the loo. They'll be here any minute. You'll be fine. Just remember to stand up for yourself and be honest with her. If you let me explain... Oh, now you want to talk. Please. Go on. Why has Cameron sent you a visitation order? Maybe we should sit down. I came to you about this. I know, and I, if you just listen... The only reason I helped you clear out this pigsty was because I felt bad asking, and you had this the whole time. I, I, I should have told you earlier. Well, why on earth didn't you? Because it would have meant giving him what he wants. He's trying to hurt you. Still, from inside his cell. He knows how isolated you are. How you've been trying so desperately to see him. And he chose you because he wants me to lose my whole family. Or maybe he just wants you to feel bad. Oh, he knows me. I'll give him that. I, I didn't know how to tell you. Is that why you didn't answer my calls? I knew you'd want to talk about him. I didn't want to lie to you. Will you go to the prison? Wasn't planning on it. No, but would you? He's still my son. I have to know how he is. It's a bad idea. I don't have any better ones. Well, then leave him be. For now, at least. All he'll do is try and spin more lies. But you'll see him, you'll know. Please, Lou. Here we go. You all right? Yes, I am, Dad. Thanks for asking. Is that yours? It's Lenny's. You don't even drink. Well, what can I say, Mum? You have that effect on me. <sighs> I think it's about time we had a chat, don't you? How many times do I have to say it before you believe me? I wish I did, but... Well, the way you've been acting, I am protecting this family. I've told you, Ash isn't a threat, ma. Oh, so you believe him, but you accuse me. You got tempted. I understand that. You've been through a lot recently. You helped me celebrate a thousand days a few weeks ago. Did you think I was lying to you then? No, but... No, but one conversation with that man and everything changes. 
I battle with myself every single day to stay sober. But now on top of everything, I've got to fight you as well. This isn't a fight, but you still haven't answered me. <sighs> Unopened. Well, but that doesn't prove anything, does it? What are you doing? I'm giving in. I'm proving you right. Mum, put it down. What's the difference? What does it matter what I do if you already think I'm back on it? It matters. Not to me, it doesn't. Knowing I'm being called a liar by my own flesh and blood. I believe you, OK? Just put it down. I believe you. Please. How little do you think of me? Say that again. I'm afraid of you. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I agree. It's ridiculous for someone my age to be afraid of their mum, but it's where we are. Jessie, your mum just went... Yeah, I can speak for myself. What is it about me that scares you? You can be intimidating. And I've lied to you a lot over the last few years because I was scared of how you'd react to certain things. You don't know how I would have reacted. No. But you still think your lies are my fault? No. My lies, my fault, 100%. But it's a problem, don't you think, what I said? No, I've had to do two jobs here. Your whole life. I've had to be good cop and bad cop. And does good cop on a career break? Look, it would be easy to just give you what you want all the time. But it's my job to make sure you're strong enough for the world. And you did that? If only you knew how well. Now, what's going on? Nothing. Well, you were right. She deserves to know. No, what, Alex? There were some incidents last year connected to the business. And what were they? Well... I was... kidnapped. But everything worked out OK and Jessie wasn't harmed. It's true. I'm completely fine. But how did this happen? What kind of business are you in? It was a misunderstanding. And it's all done with now. But now you know I can handle myself, whatever's thrown at me. You don't have to worry about me being here. This is what you were afraid of today. With your dodgy business catching up with Jessica and you let me blame myself. You blamed yourself? Same old Alex after all. That's not true. Give us a minute, will you? I need to talk to your father. I suppose you think you're clever. Well, yes. But what's this about? You know fine well. Molly's rosary, in the till, and on the charity tin. Well, nothing to do with me. Well, Scarlett said it wasn't her, so who else could it have been? I have absolutely no idea. This is the first chance I've had to get my lunch. Very convenient. Very true. Go and ask him if you don't believe me. I will. Don't you worry. And I'm not changing my mind about the money either. Ah, I see. No, you don't see. What is it you see? Molly, charity. Oh, me thinks a guilty conscience is at play. I will. Me thinks you thinks a load of mince. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> Please, don't overreact to this. I don't know if it's possible to overreact to your daughter being held hostage in a gang war. That situation's gone away. They're safe now. 
I saw how scared you were when she disappeared today, remember? I mean, even you don't believe that. OK, fine. I'll worry about them. I always will. That doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Too right, it won't. Because she's coming home with me now. They won't go. You heard them. Jessie is scared of you. Jessica scared full stop. I mean, it's called being a teenager. But you can't mollycoddle her for the rest of your life. That's not what I'm doing. If she's not in school. She's got no job, no career, and no intention of getting one. And why would she, when you're paying for everything, protecting her and trying to shield her from the real world? I've been trying. I've done my best. You were perfect strangers a year ago. I mean, I'm impressed, amazed at the job you've done, Alex, but it's not enough. Don't take them away. I can get it right this time. I know I can. You really want to make up for the past? Do the right thing now for her, not for you. When you've got worries, all the noise and the hurry seems to help, I know. Listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Linger on the sidewalk where the neon signs are pretty. Your dad and I have spoken. Sounds ominous. <laughs> You're not getting back together, are you? We both agree it's for the best that you come back to Edinburgh. I'm not going with you. It's decided. Dad? You want to say something here? Your mum's right. You can't stay here forever. OK, great. Well, thanks for your input, but I will be living elsewhere. Thank you very much. Where? And with what money? Because we're not paying for it. I'll figure something out. You've got your whole life ahead of you, but the longer you wait for it to start, the further behind you'll be. Behind who? I'm not in competition with anyone. Yes, you are. And I'm not going to let you miss out on what you deserve because you don't realise that. It's time to start focusing on the future. That's amazing. How did you make him say that without moving your lips? I looked into that course. The one that you said you were meant to be doing this whole time. You know, I believed the lie because I knew it was something you were interested in. So what if I am? Well, they have it in Edinburgh too. It's everything that you talked about when you first got here. Jessie, I know things are different for you now and I want to hear all about it. I mean, it's time to come home. I'll come and visit. Don't bother. Jessie, it's for the best. Yeah, sure it is. So you win. Congratulations. She'll understand. In time. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. No. I shouldn't have accused you. But you've got to see it from my side, ma. The way you've been acting, it's not normal. I know. Quitting your job's one thing, but all that talk about John and now Ash... I wish I could explain it. Well, try me. I'm taking my medication and I wake up and everything's fine. But as the day goes on, I feel like it's not. I mean, like it's really not. And I don't know which feeling is right. Well, maybe you need to go back and see your doctor again. Tell all this to Eve. I'm sorry I've let you down. <sighs> you haven't. I'm not just saying this, ma, but I really need to see you well. Me too. I need to get better for everyone's sake. And I'll do it. I promise you.
So that's it. Jessie's gone back with her mum. You're happy with that? Obviously not. The Cairn's right. I, I let them down. Cairn has no idea who you are now. Not like Jessie does. That's what matters here. Cairn's their mum. And you were their dad the last time I checked. If Jessie wants to stay, that's two versus one. I don't see the problem. What if I'm not what Jessie needs? It's up to you to make sure you are. Do it soon, hmm? Before it's too late. Well, they're already in a cab. Left about 20 minutes ago. Was it one of yours? Ah, good. Good. You're here. What's happened? Oh, sit down. No, I, I don't want to talk about it. All right. Look, I've made my mind up. If you want to use that money for Molly's corner, well, that's OK by me. OK? OK? That's excellent news. <laughs> oh, well done, Nicole. I don't think that could have gone any better. Good job, Scarlett still had that mobility scooter. I knew how to drive it. <laughs> but it wasn't Scarlett. It was Molly. <laughs> Do you think she would have approved? Only one way to find out. <gasps> Molly, Molly. If we were wrong to do this, then give us a sign. <laughs> Any sign. <laughs> gotcha! Oh. How did you know? First clue is there are no such thing as ghosts. So I'm walking my way backwards from there. Well, I suppose you want the money back then. You think? That was a dirty, rotten, sleek -it trick you pair played in me today. And using my mother's memory against me. She would have absolutely loved it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are you playing at, bringing us back here? Oh, do you not think Jessica's been kidnapped enough times? Oh, you get used to it. I want Jessica to stay. We've agreed. I shouldn't have done that. So why did you then? I was trying to do the right thing. You did. This is just, I don't know, seller's remorse or something. Excuse me? Oh, calm down, it's an expression. I mean, you know what I mean. So what's changed? You should be where you want to be. I know that now, and I'll do whatever you need to make that happen. And what about what's best for her? That's not up to us anymore. Jessie's practically an adult. Finally, someone gets it. Yeah, an adult who still needs financial support. I'm selling one of my businesses, a nightclub. Money's not a problem. All right, so back to handouts and lazing around then? No. Condition is staying with me. First thing tomorrow, they enrol in that course. Staying with you? After what happened? That's all behind us now. Look, I know you're worried about them. I am too. That comes with the territory, but you don't need to worry about me. I'm their dad, and I take that very seriously. And this is what you want? I don't know. But I thought it was. I know what you thought. That I'd be so grateful you changed your mind I'd forget what a massive letdown you were. I'm sorry. At least I know what I'm getting with Mum. Well, thanks a lot. It's an expression. You know what I mean, right? Look, wherever you go, you'll do well. We both know that. But I want you to stay. Why? Because having you back in my life, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm not ready to say goodbye. Well, that was a nice thing to say. to the man in the suit. Guess I'd better go and unpack. No, no, you're not listening to me. I'm not disputing the fees. Yes, I know lawyers cost money, but, but what I'm trying to say is that, well, I need more time to pay you. OK. 
cable. Thanks for your help. Thank you. I didn't exactly have much choice, did I? If you really wanted to take them back, you'd be in that cab right now. Well, it's temporary, mind. Just until I get a handle on things. Absolutely. And I'm stopping our payments, so no, you don't need just... to worry about it. Trust me. Do you know what's weird? For some reason, I do. It's been my fatherly vibes. Well, Jessica lied to us both for a year. Can I assume you'll deal with that? There will be consequences, don't worry about that. I can be bad cop too, you know. You're full of surprises, aren't you? I do my best. Makes a nice change from what you were full of before. You should stay. And have dinner with us, I mean. I think that might be pushing it after today. But I'll be back soon. And often. Oh, very glad to hear it. Ruby about the finances. She knows we have a problem. She just doesn't know it's a 30 grand kind of problem. Could you do a fundraiser for us? I thought it would be nice to spend a bit of time together. We had a bit of an argument. She can hardly have been through the door. No, I just feel like I'm losing her. She's turning Stevie against me. Why would she do that? I'm worried about what she might have seen. There was stuff in there about my dad. It might turn out asking us the easy bit. Once you've met, you might not like what you see. Mm -hmm. 